Hello everyone, welcome another tutorial here on how to make a wizard. Well, how to make lightning. And we're going to make this ball of lightning with these uh, kind of blasts coming off this and we'll make a core. And it's all done with uh, so a little trick to make the lightning, then some uh, adjustment layers and uh, some polar coordinate filters and stuff. And it's, uh, it'll be fun. So here's our starting image. She's not quite a mage yet. We'll take her through the College of Winter Hold and she'll be shooting lightning in no time. Okay, first things first, create a new layer, control J, just uh, to be safe. Now let's make a uh, make our lightning. So we'll make a new layer, have your default color selected, black in the foreground, white in the background. Then go up to filter, render, clouds. And this is what we'll get that works. Now what we want is our gradient tool so hit G and come up here to your radial gradient. If you want to make a lightning uh, bolt like a line you can select one of these linear ones but we want the radial one for our, uh, our ball of lightning and make sure mode is set to difference. This is important. So with your mode set to difference click on the middle of your image and drag out to the edge. Release and there we go we see this black ring that will become our lightning and so, uh, yeah, we're on our way. So to kind of up the contrast, we'll make a levels adjustment layer, drag the white down, and everything you'll kind of see starts to get knocked out. So I'm really dragging this down pretty far to about there, which is how I want my lightning to be, and we're already, we're already seeing it. So let's commit this uh, levels one layer with control E to do that. It'll bring it down. And I'll, uh, I want my lightning to be white and everything else to be uh, black. So I'm going to hit control I to inverse everything. That looks cool. Now uh, every wizard, every wizard knows lightning is blue. Well, some do. Anyways, so I'm going to hit my hue saturation. Now I can mess with these all I want, but this layer I'm affecting is black and white. So it's not going to do anything. So I have to ha click this colorize uh, box here. Now we can adjust our colors and we can see it in the image. So I'm going to select a nice blue, maybe up my saturation a bit. There we go. Looking cool. And I'm going to commit this again so I can hit Control E or I can right click here and right here merge down. That'll merge down. That's cool. Now uh, to knock out all the black all we have to do is uh, select our blending mode from normal to screen. And there it goes. So it looks pretty good, but that's uh, it's just a start. I want more lightning than this. So what I'm going to do is copy this layer so I can hit Control J to do that or drag down to uh, the layer icon to make a new one. And I'm going to hit Control T to transform this. So I'm gonna. Ro I'm just gonna rotate it because I want more lightning, and uh, just kind of create a different look there. I'll hit Enter to commit my uh, transformation. Cool, and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna combine these layers again. So either merge down or hit Control E, and then I'm gonna do it a do a duplicate layer again for what will become kind of the core, the inside of my lightning bolt, and I'm gonna. I'll name it core and then I'm going to turn that layer off just to, uh, or invisible just for later. So with layer 2 our main kind of lightning blast what we want now is the blast so we want those streaks uh, coming off like we saw from the first image and to do that grab your move tool and if your your lightning ball isn't already in the middle grab your move tool and center it in your image all together. <clears throat> so with it in the center and you can come up here and use your line tools if you uh, if you need, but I'm just going to eyeball it, and that works pretty well. So just get it right in the middle. And here comes kind of the tricky part with uh, the polar coordinates and things. So I'll try to go uh, be clear, but just follow the, the steps. What we're going to do is do uh, polar coordinates, rotate the image, do the filter, rotate it back, and then kind of undo the polar coordinates, kind of. So let me show you what I mean. So let's uh, come up here, filter, distort, polar coordinates. Now make sure, I'm going to zoom out, make sure you have polar to rectangular 
selected for the start. And what that kind of does is it turns our image inside out. So as you can kind of see from the preview. So click OK. Now we want a wind filter. And wind only goes left to right. So to do this, we have to rotate our image. So come up to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so now come up to filter, we'll apply our wind, and let's under stylize, wind. And there we can kind of see the blast already taking effect. So hit OK. Now that looks good, but I don't know that that will be enough wind. So I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to hit filter, wind right here, we'll apply our last filter, or control F. So hit that, and we'll just make more, more wind. So now we're just kind of got... Uh, kind of do our steps in reverse. So let's re-rotate our image. So image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now come up to filter, distort, polar coordinates to get our energy ball back. Now instead of going polar to rectangular again, we want rectangular to polar for our uh, energy ball. And there it is. Cool. Let me zoom in, kind of see what we uh, and it looks okay. Maybe it's too much, but uh, you know you can always kind of play with these effects and get it to look exactly how you want. You know, just play around with it. But uh, now what we're going to do is kind of make it small, fit in our hands. So I'm going to hit Control T, grab my anchor point up here, shrink it down. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Once we shrink it down, it looks neat and once we will bump the contrast up with the curves layer later and it'll look it'll look good so get it to just the right size just how you want we'll hit enter for that now we'll come back to our core for inside the energy ball so select that and uh, I want the core to be a different color so I'm gonna make another hue saturation layer and I'm gonna make it like a nice uh, purple and don't worry that it's kind of affecting the whole image because we're going to commit that anyways and it'll it'll affect only the layer below it or merge down but if you wanted to make a clipping mask you could with this uh, black circle over the white one right here we'll make a clipping mask so the the adjustment layer will only affect the layer right below it so that's right there or if uh, you don't have that it's right up here to layer clipping mask release clipping mask create clipping mask so there we go I'm gonna make it like a bright like pink purple color hit control E to commit that down now I'm just gonna transform it to be inside our energy ball right about there I'll hit enter to uh, apply that zoom in here maybe make a another copy of this so hit control J move it around maybe transform it a little bit I'll hit enter for that cool and it looks okay now uh, with our energy ball if we want kinda to create the overall effect of our entire image let's create some curves layers so it would probably emit a kind of blue light so I made a curves adjustment layer and come up here and select your blue channel and just bump up the blue light to uh, your desired effect. Just bump it up a notch. And um, that looks okay. It looks kind of weird. Don't go crazy with this because you can really throw everything off. And that looks okay. I'll make another curves adjustment layer, kind of darken everything. And as you can see, it kind of enhances the effect of our energy ball. So I'll zoom in on that and kind of, you can kind of see it start to glow. But remember, keep your whole image in mind when you're when you're doing this kind of thing. So I'll do that. And so I'm going to inverse the layer mask of our adjustment layer. And then grab my brush tool. And then with white selected, I'm just going to paint around kind of the outside. Just to, just to increase the dramatic effect of everything. And paint over that. A little bit. Cool. So I think that looks pretty good. Now, if uh, you want to do some quick, maybe she's a super wizard 
and she can shoot lightning out of her eyes. So I'm going to do the first steps again with render clouds, make a new layer, render clouds, filter, render clouds. Now with just a linear gradient tool, here's your gradient, grab a linear one, just make a small, click anywhere, make a small uh, gradient, there's our lightning, make a uh, levels adjustment layer, Zzz, bring it down, that looks good, commit that with control E, inverse it with control I, now let's colorize it, remember with our hue saturation, colorize, bring it up to our blue again, bump up saturation, commit that with control E, apply the blending uh, blending mode of screen and there it is so hit control T to transform and now we have lightning I'm, a, I'm always a wizard in my uh, whenever I play role-playing game it's like oh maybe I'll be a warrior this time like nope I want to shoot lightning wizard it is so hit control J for that oops so uh, there you go I uh, hope you enjoy. Play around with it a little bit. I'm going to delete those. That's terrible. But uh, it's pretty fun. And once you get the hang of it, you can play around and make some pretty cool, pretty cool effects. So I hope you enjoyed. Until uh, next time. Thank you.